H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Welcome to the videos of H2K Infosys. Uh, thanks for watching the videos. So in this particular session, we are going to see the Boolean and the character data type. So this is the continuation of the same uh, section that is your data types out here. So let us look at the character data type and the Boolean data type. So let's move ahead directly to the practicals of it. And I'm going to open up the Eclipse right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create <clears throat> a new project called as session four. And I'm going to click on the next button and after clicking, click on the finish. I don't want to change the perspective. Let it be the Java perspective. In this particular session, uh, where I've created the project called session four. Inside this session four, I'm going to create the package called as data types again. And within the package, I'm going to create the class file. So right click, go to new and create the class file. I'll call this class file as character boolean data types. I'm going to call the main method because I want to throw the result in the console of Eclipse. Right click, uh, sorry, double click on the tab uh, that is created for the class file. Okay, it expands and we're going to see that certain examples on character. Now, first thing is that we'll cover up the character data type. Now, there are certain things which can be taken as a note out here, uh, which is important for us to understand. I'll give a single line of comment. That is why I'm using double forward slash. So as point number one, as far as notes is concerned, uh, the value for a character data type variable should be put within single quotes. First thing, point number two. Point number two is that the number of characters that can be defined for a character data type variable is one. So what I'm trying to say is that the value that you declare for the character type data type variable should be one in number. The number of characters that you can declare for the value of a character data type variable is only one. Okay, that is point number two. And point number three is that, sorry, point number three is that the type of character declared as a value of character data type can be it can be your
can be special character or numerical character or alphabetical character. So <clears throat> let us see with certain examples. Okay, so let us, so how do you declare the keyword for the character data type variable? The keyword is car with a lowercase c. Okay, and I can declare a variable a as a character data type. And if I, as we have seen that the value declaration for this character data type variable should be within single quotes and give a terminant assigned. Okay, and the value that the single quote will hold will be either numeric so i have put numeric out here okay so this is how we declare it now character is also a reserved keyword and that is why it's in red color and it can be used only for declaring a variable as character type you cannot use the character or the car keyword reserved keyword for any other purpose now if i want to declare the value of it for example say so okay I can write down value of variable a is concatenate this with the variable a. So let us see what is the value that will, that will be thrown out in the console. This will be thrown out as it is in the console. What will be thrown out in term in place of a? So you would be expecting that the value of the character uh, value of the variable a should be a only because that is the what is the value given so let us see that okay so i'll save the class file and i'll run it if you see i'm getting the value of variable a as a okay then let's say <clears throat> i'll declare a character variable b now with single quotes again so whatever value that, that we need to declare for the character data type variable it has to be with the single quotes it can hold alphabetical character i can have i can have numeric character also it's also possible and <clears throat> excuse me i have a bad cold anyways so value of variable b is b again so if i print out the value of b so it this should be b actually so what value will i get in the console of eclipse when i run this particular class file after saving so i'm getting one okay similarly i can declare a variable c and the value of this variable should be, should be within single quotes put a terminal design i can put a special character like this if i use a ciso statement and i basically declare the value of variable c is c and i save this class file and run it what is the value that i'll get is at the rate okay so far so good now i to try to declare a variable d <coughs> within single quotes and the values number of characters let's say is more than one so two characters of numeric this is two characters of numeric now if you see out here the compiler does not accept it and the simple reason is that within single quotes you have to only put one character either of numeric or alphabets or a special and that is why it is does not it is not getting accepted and before i comment it if i want to see what is the syntax message invalid character constant so you cannot declare a variable a variable d with uh, the value which is number of characters exceeding more than one it should be only one character similarly <clears throat> if i declare character e within single quotes I declare it as a combination of numeric and alphabet. This is also a problem. And for the simple reason that the problem is not being shown because I have to comment this. Okay. 
So when once I comment this line, I will be able to see that this compiler of Java will show you the syntax error message that is invalid character constant. So I'll comment it. Similarly, I cannot have two characters of special also. So let's say I define a variable B f as character data type variable equal to within single quotes I define the value of f which is nothing but two characters of special. This is also a problematic affair for the compiler and that is why the compiler throws the error stating that it's an invalid character constant. So it's an invalid character constant. So this is a constant value okay, of the character E. So you cannot have two characters of Two, two special characters, only one character were either special, numeric or alphabets is allowed. And that is why this is showing you a syntax error with a red underline out here. So I'll comment this also. Now let's go drill down to the fact that I let's say I have an integer a, which is equal to 10. Okay. And I have integer a is not allowed because a is already declared as a variable, which is of character data type. So this will show you a duplicate local variable. So let's say I declare this as G and I declare a character variable H within single quotes and I put the value as 20 or 2 rather. I cannot put 20 because that will be two characters but this is accepted. And I put the added value of G added with the variable age and put it to a variable which is of character type and this variable will be equal to i okay now if you see the syntax error type mismatch cannot convert from integer to character so if you are adding up actually a integer variable with the character variable okay the added value will be not the value of 12 strictly speaking it will be actually you are concatenating the character age variable with the integer g variable and this is nothing but it is showing in integer format so you cannot convert from integer to character because integer is at a higher hierarchy than character data type so that is why this is, will be in integer format how can you put an integer format to a variable i which is declared, declared as character data type and that is why it is showing you a syntax error. The <coughs> addition of variable g with variable h is a or rather is in integer format. And this integer format is put to a variable and what's the variable name? The variable name is i. It is put to a variable i which is declared as character data type and that's not allowed by the compiler and that is why the compiler shows you a syntax error with the concerned message stating that cannot convert from integer to character what if i declare a variable j and add g plus h where g is in integer format and h is in is having a character data type now if you see the compilers do not show you a problem it is getting accepted now if you see if i do a siso out here and i basically print out let's say i'll just copy this and do the required changes variable value of variable let's say j is j so what is it is going to throw out now you will get confused when i am trying to add g plus h and putting it to character i 
the compiler does not accept it okay whereas if i again you know add up g plus h i put to a variable j which is of integer type it gets accepted accepted the next question which comes to your mind is what is the value of j so let's say i save the class file and run it so value of j is 60 now you will think that how come 10 plus 2 value of g is 10 value of h is 2 now in the very hindsight of your mind let's leave apart the character data type integer 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 now why is the console showing me 60 ok 